What up and welcome back to Boring Reviews. The coolest, emoist, Jody here. The coolest, grumpiest, most boring, Nick here. For sure. <laughs> and we are super excited to check out another quite interesting, please tell me what it stands for. You guys have told me so many times. I'm slow. QI. QI. <gasps> that was insane. That was like way to go, Nick. Wow. High five. Oh, Justin Timberlake. Slow. Still waiting. He said high five. Too slow. Still waiting. Because that's messed up. Got it. And we're checking out the one that's called What Are the Rules on a Pirate Ship? This actually is very, very appropriate timing because I'm about to board a pirate ship in just a few months. I need to know the rules, so I'm glad for this video. What? No, no one needs to know the rules for boarding a pirate ship. No, but you're boarding a pirate ship? <laughs> no. Oh. Matey? I don't know, but I forgot this one. Pound it. I'm not going to fall just for it. pound it. I'm not going to. Please, Knuckles. Please. I'm not going to say anyone. Too slow. Exactly. Or no, it's snail. Wait, I got to fix it. I messed it up. Happy turkey. All right. <laughs> so, I messed up. It's supposed to be snail. Okay. I'm trying. Anyways, we are excited to check this You're out. You're trying to make me right now? <laughs> no, you don't want to know I'm gonna, what I was about to say. Does our love not mean anything to you? <laughs> this emo character is driving me nuts. I'm actually feeling like how this guy in 10 days vibes. If you're oh, excited thank you. boo, 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 for boo. our reaction, anyway, please don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell so you can be aware of our next upload videos. That's right. You do what I say. It's very, you know, 10 things I hate about you. Or not 10 things I hate about you. Oh my gosh, that's so good. Too. How to lose a guy, How to lose a guy in 10, in 10 days. days. It's the 10th thing. 10 things I hate about you is so good. It has Heath Ledger in it. And he's just so beautiful. Absolutely. You're beautiful too. Abs absolutely. Said no so beautiful. Now. Here we go. Describe the rules on a pirate ship. Yes, please do. Rules? Yeah. Well, what sort of rules do they have? I was just saying. Obviously, they've got a captain. Yes. So he's in charge. So I imagine he gets most of the gold and whatever they find. Well, the the enough, now, they have two senior officers, the right. captain and the quartermaster. And I've never even heard of the quartermaster. by the quartermaster on all matters. That was the first mate. Battle. Except okay. rules of engagement when fighting. And they had strong laws. And the quartermaster was, uh, he was about, how much they divvied out, including he decided how much the captain got. The captain had no special quarters. He didn't have a, you know, wonderful room such as you imagine in movies. So it's not exactly from hierarchical. It's kind of a rule of two, the quartermaster and the captain. Otherwise, it was more or less a democracy in a strange sort of way, but with strict rules. For example, like in Captain Buffalo and the Robert's ship, the fortune, and there was no gambling. It was like a boarding school. No smuggling girls into the dorm. No oh. playing music on a Sunday. And lights out at 8 o'clock sharp in the evening. Stop! Oh, this being a pirate. Oh, I know! <laughs> <laughs> Rubbish. Why is the captain? <laughs> but also... going to smuggle these girls from, anyway? <laughs> well, <laughs> that, that, that's true. If you that, rescue one from the sea, no, no, no. When it came to women aboard, the articles of Captain George Lowther, who was a famous pirate of his day, said, if at any time you meet with a prudent woman, that man that offers to meddle with her, without her consent, shall suffer present death. So Jeez. meddling with a, a prudent woman without her consent uh, got you death. So they really were very strict with each other. So meddling Seriously? was rape, really. The movies are wrong. Rape, it lost yeah. its meaning by the time Scooby-Doo came Exactly. On. <laughs> <laughs> Why do pesky kids have meddled? Sorry, <laughs> <laughs> gang rapists. <laughs> <laughs> That's just terrible. Uh, I'm ashamed of you. Why Why is the pirate's uh, voice similar to the farmer's voice? Why? Is there, is there something? Arr! Get off my land! Is it, is one man responsible. Do right. You know, do you know who it is? It'll be a, a film actor. Yes. Oh, OK. Yeah. Treasure Island. He played in a great performance of Treasure Island. In fact, Tony Hancock, the great comedian, he first started out as an impersonator of this actor. Lawton? No, not quite as well known as Lawton. In his own day, he was very, very well known, but now less well known. Anybody? Uh, oh. Someone, we've mentioned on QI oh. before. A minute, the chances getting, of Alan remembering it are... Someone in the front row saying, you've done this! <laughs> You this, this was on Dave on Tuesday. <laughs> New facts. New facts. <laughs> yeah, well, it was Robert Newton, anyway. The Robert Newton. Thank you, yes. <laughs> Robert Newton. Robert Newton is the right answer, yeah, but it doesn't count because uh, we've had it before. <laughs> there we are. Krause always almost did that, didn't he, to Darth Vader? He, he has a West Country accent, didn't he? 
Yes, and he, he did. famously thought that he was going to be used, didn't he? Yes. With his West Country accent, he got redone. I am your father. Jones. I am your father. Very upset. I'm your father, and I'm your brother as well. <laughs> <laughs> so you know, Pedro on a big tractor, yeah. <laughs> trundling down the corridors of the Death Star, chewing a bit of straw. Yeah. Darth. Darth. Um, Darth. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Darth to you. Mr. Darth. <laughs> Mr. Darth. <laughs> it's, yeah, anyway. Uh, you know the skull and crossbone flag? Yes. Do they really have that? Because, I mean, that's... Really oh, give hell, it away, We definitely it? covered that in the last Oh, series. really? I must yeah, have uh, Alan will tell you all about it. Go on. <laughs> Jolly Roger. Well, yeah, well, everyone knows it's called. <laughs> 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 is that a proposition? <laughs> 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 Maybe later, it's been, it's been ten years, Stephen, <laughs> and I've finally come round to it. <laughs> all right, it's time for a Jolly Roger. <laughs> no, I want to know about a flag. All right. Oh, I know about the flag. You have to watch more of the episodes, apparently. Seriously, what in the world? The guy that... I don't know any of their names on this one besides Stephen Fry. The guy that was to the right of Stephen Fry, our right, he looks so familiar. Who was he? I don't... I don't know. Let us know, please, because I don't know what his name is, but he looks very, very familiar for whatever reason. I'm not sure why. Now... If it's true that the whole, like, pirate voice, our matey, that comes from one actor. That would be crazy. And it's just like, could you imagine having a, such a performance where you're portraying an entire group of people from the past as sound in a certain way, and so many movies have copied that, kids have copied that, Halloween caught, all that kind of stuff. That would be crazy. That would be crazy, exactly. You I know, I like, was the one that started that stuff. I feel like we need to look that up. But it would make sense, like, because we still have lots of pirates nowadays. And they're constantly, you know... Robbing ships and well, stuff. Well, yes, but none of them talk but like that. But that's what I'm saying. Know. So, like, why would they talk like that back then? The only way we know now is just from, again, a movie, not a real thing, but I'm the captain now, right? Those guys were pirates in the movie Captain Phillips or whatever it was mm, called. That's true, but that was just their, like, cultural accent. That's what I said. That's how they yeah, spoke. that's how they talk. I'm the captain now. That was a line that was used quite a bit too, afterwards, too, and the repeated. But how <laughs> crazy, like, the whole pirate life was, like, so serious. Seriously. And get, don't get me wrong, but isn't a pirate a pirate because they take from people? Like, we're going to have all these rules of etiquette, but the stealing part, don't worry about it. Or is it just like we're just treasure hunters just trying to find treasure? Well, I think that in any type of society, even if you're taking things, you still have to have some type of law and some type of way to make sure you guys don't take over each other. You have to make sure that you work well together. No loud music, lights out. Light out is crazy, but they would have to have, I don't know, I've never gone sailing before or, you know, trying to um, well, yeah, maneuver sure a steer a like, hey, boat, it. but you would, have, you would have to have people that like still like steer and take care of the boat at night. Um, but yeah, that's interesting. Even like the a prudent woman. Like, I actually not, do agree with that. Not the killing part, that. but yes, the part that we take it so it's like, don't even mess around. Yeah. Because it's not going to end well for you. I like that a lot. Leave like, them alone for crying out loud. Yeah, because that's something that I'm, I was I was shocked about. Um, but no, I like the fact that they have like some type of society with laws, but it would make sense. I mean, even if you think about our classrooms, we have to have rules and regulations for our classrooms or they would just be wild. But we're not stealing money from people. But I'm saying, how would you get all these people to do their own jobs on the in ship? Society. You be in charge of this. You're in charge of this. This is your job. If they could just steal and take whatever, but I'm not doing that. Absolutely. I just have to, you know, work together. Absolutely. Shut up. If you liked our reaction anyway, please do us a huge favor. Hit that like and subscribe button. She turned her back on me. Thank you so much for watching, and until next time. Goodbye.